Hello to you. My name is Brian. I'm going to be the voice actor on the project of Group 2 in Health. Sorry if there are some mistakes. And hope you like it. SARS, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. SARS is a viral respiratory disease of zoonotic origin caused by the SARS coronavirus. It can spread easily from person to person through respiratory droplets. That picture is an illustration of a coronavirus. WHO has identified SARS as a global health threat and has issued health guidelines to prevent an outbreak. However, between November 2002 and July 2003, an outbreak of SARS in southern China caused an eventual 8,096 cases and 774 deaths reported in multiple countries with the majority of cases in Hong Kong, according to the World Health Organization. While the outbreak is still happening, people in South China needed to wear face masks every day to prevent SARS. SARS is primarily caused by the coronavirus, when a per person with SARS sneezes or coughs, infected droplets of liquid are spread in the air. One can catch the virus if he or she breathes or touches the particles. SARS can also spread by hands and other subjects that the liquid droplets have touched. Airborne transmission is a real possibility in some cases. The initial causes of SARS are our flu-like and may include fever, myalgia, lethargy symptoms, cough, sore throat, and other non-specific symptoms. The only symptom common to all patients appears to be a fever above 38 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Shortness of breath may occur later. The patient has symptoms as with a cold in the first stage, but later on they resemble influenza. The picture on the left shows shortness of breath, and on the right shows influenza. SARS's symptoms may occasionally lead to pneumonia, either direct viral pneumonia or secondary bacterial pneumonia. Hi there. You're probably wondering. Where's Brian? He got home, he's sick, so I'm replacing him. In treating SARS, antibiotics are ineffective, as SARS is a viral disease. The treatment of SARS is largely supportive with antipyretics, supplemental oxygen and mechanical ventilation as needed. The picture on the left is an antipyretic. As of 2015, there is no cure or protective vaccine for SARS that is safe for use in humans. The identification and development of novel vaccines and medicines to treat SARS is a priority for governments and public health agencies around the world. In preventing SARS, these are some steps, isolation and quarantine remain the most effective means to prevent the spread of SARS. In addition, hand washing. Use of universal precautions disinfection of surfaces for fomites, and use of a surgical mask are recommended. Avoid contact with bodily fluids. I'm going to show you a video here in the Philippines about a type of SARS, which is Saudi SARS. <laughs> o coronavirus o mas kilala sa tawag na Saudi SARS sa katunayan may isang Filipino And this is a video about other ways to prevent SARS That's all. Thanks for viewing.